What's up, Agents here, here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this redstone powered semi automatic tree farm. Now, the reason I say semi automatic is because you actually end up having to plant the saplings yourself, and it's really quite easy to use. So, all you have to do, oh, we've got saplings already. This is good to start off with. So, if we go ahead and flick this lever, it's going to go ahead and start this dispenser, and it's got bone meal in it. However, since there's no saplings to use the bone meal on, it's not actually going to dispense any of the bone meal. But as soon as we go ahead and put a sapling down, the tone of the clicking changes, and it starts growing the sapling. If we go ahead and put another one down, and wait for this one to grow. Now, I actually started this one off a little bit early, because honestly, it takes quite a bit of time for a single sapling to grow so, so we just grew two saplings which and it ended up crossing this line right here which means these pistons all extended at once and this way means that if you use, spam a whole bunch of saplings by the time you're done you're going to have yourself a massive block of which you can use to harvest your wood from which makes it a whole lot easier to get your wood than just simply planting, growing, and chopping down just randomly in your world. So over here I already have everything set up now. Uh, before I begin I do want to say that this uh, wall of pistons right here you can uh, effectively make that any size you want just you gotta make sure that you actually uh, do not run out of uh, redstone power you have to reach the redstone limit. But anyway so we're going to need this large area now. Like I said, you can make this any size you want. For the purposes of this tutorial, though, it's only going to be 6 long. So we're going to need an 8 by 15 area. Now the 15 is what's going to change depending on how big you want uh, your piston wall to be. And in this chest, we have everything we need in order to get started. So in here we have 54 uh, building blocks. We're going to need 7 slabs. We're going to need almost a full stack of redstone dust. We're going to need 29 repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 35 pistons, which I know can be a bit expensive. We're going to need 1 dispenser, 2 observers, and 1 lever. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go from this corner and we're going to go over 1, 2, 3, and then back 1. We're going to destroy this block. Now what we're going to do is dig out a hole that's too deep and makes a 2x2 two two square just like this. Now what we want to do is we want to come over here, get rid of both of these blocks, and we put down block, uh, get rid of blocks just like this. From here we're going to take redstone dust and place it right here. Then we're going to take redstone comparator, place it down right here, set that to subtract mode, then we're going to take redstone dust and go in the formation just like this. Redstone dust right on top of both of these blocks. And then we're going to put a redstone repeater right here. And then we're going to go ahead and put our dispenser right here. Now let's go ahead and take our building block. We're going to place it right here with a lever on top. And then the dispenser is now firing, which is what we want. Now what you want to do is when you want to go ahead and cover all of this up with whatever you want. I'm just going to use these blocks for now. Do not cover up this hole because otherwise it will actually cut off the redstone signal. And then you do want to put a block right here because that's going to cut off redstone signal for the next section of redstone that we're going to wire. So from here, what we want to do, we're going to take our pistons and we're going to make a tower of them. We're going to put one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and take our building blocks and we're going to place them down one, two, and three. And we're going to take redstone dust and we're going to put them down just like this. Now we're going to take our building blocks again. We're going to put a block there. And we're going to put a block here. Now we're going to go ahead and take our redstone repeaters. We're going to set them down. Set these all to two ticks because if they are not set to two ticks, then the entire circuit is going to mess up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some, red, uh, some slabs and we're going to place them down just like this. Take redstone dust, put them down just like this. Now from over here we're going to start working uh, building the actual detection part. So we're going to put a temporary block right here and then we're going to place our observer right here. That way our observer is going to be looking for the tree trunk which is going to be growing right here. Now from here what you want to do is you want to take a slab and you want to place it right here. And the reason why you're using a slab is because we're putting redstone dust on it 
and if this is a full block this is going to power this which is uh, something we want to try to avoid now we're going to place a regular block down right here we're going to take redstone dust we're going to put them in a line like this then we're going to come around just like that now we're going to take a repeater place it right here set this to four ticks then we're going to place a repeater right here set to no ticks and we're going to put a block right here now we're, what we're going to do is place redstone on top of this block right here and i did not mean to put that there now we're going to take a block and temporarily put it right here and we're going to put a slab right there and on top of that slab we're going to put down a piece of redstone dust <coughs> sorry about that guys excuse me okay so now that this circuit is done let's go ahead and test this so if we start putting blocks down just right here you're going to notice that it track goes out and retracts and it doesn't come back out which is exactly what we want now the next step is to create the wall of pistons that is going to create our massive uh, log wall. So now what we want to do is take our pistons. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And like I said earlier, you can make this wall pretty much as long as you want, so long as you have enough redstone power. But again, this is just a tutorial. We're doing this six blocks long. Four. Row number four. Now we place another row just like this. And something I literally just remember we need to do we're going to take a few temporary blocks. We're going to place them up one, two, three, and then we're going to place a slab on the bottom half right here. And what this is going to do is going to prevent the trees from growing too tall. And that, and then this is going to stop the trees from having uh, logs uh, that are higher than the uh, pistons. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take our building blocks and we're going to go ahead and place them down in a row just like this now you're going to notice that the way we're building this is going to look very similar to what it looks like on this side and that's because we're building the exact same thing because that's what's going to power all of these pistons at once so now we're going to place redstone dust all along just like this and redstone dust along just like this on that side Take our building blocks, we're going to go ahead and go up one, and we're going to do the same thing again, go up one, and we can go ahead and destroy this block, and then we're going to go ahead and pull out and bring these blocks up just like this to the end of the row. Now we're going to go ahead and place blocks just like this all the way to the end, just like that. You're going to take your repeaters, you're going to do three rows of these, and you're not going to set them to any tick delay whatsoever, trust me, if you set it up wrong. It's not going to turn out too well for you guys. So then this set of uh, repeaters, take our building blocks, and now what we're going to do is we're going to build out just like this, and then we're going to put an extra block on that side. And we're going to do the exact same thing with this row, one, two, three, four, five, six. I did not mean to put that there, with an extra block out to this side. Now we're going to go ahead and put down redstone dust just like this along this row and leave this one open and the same on these two rows three four five six and this top row three four five six then what you're going to do is you're going to take your repeaters you're going to place them down here here and you're going to place them here and no ticks on that either so then now what we're going to do we're going to place slabs right here we're going to place a slab here we're going to run redstone dust just like this. And we're going to go ahead and take a block we're going to put down right here with redstone dust on top of it. Now we're going to take a block temporarily, place it here. Go ahead and put down a slab just like this. Put redstone dust on top of this slab. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wire up our observer so we're going to go ahead and no it's got to go here place our observer facing this way so it's going to be looking for the tree trunks and from here we're going to take redstone dust and we're going to make like a little bit of an s just like this i'm going to take redstone repeater place it right here set this to full delay and we're going to go ahead and place a regular repeater right here set to no delay and that is it that is everything all completely built now one thing i will mention this block right here will need to be traded out for dirt because you can't grow 
uh, trees on stone, but I did it so that I had an easier time showing you guys how big the area was. So now if we go ahead and test this, let's go over to this side. We go ahead and take our regular building blocks. We're going to place them right here. And it extends and retracts once. Oh, and I was too fast. And that's what happens when you work with uh, observers way too fast. So now let's go ahead and test this side. If we go ahead and place a block right here. And that is working exactly how it should. Um, now that is the entire circuit done. I know this requires a number of different resources. You're going to need quite a bit of stuff in order to build this. But I find this a lot easier than just going around chopping down random trees. Uh, you're all collecting them in one general spot. One thing I will mention though, however, is that this does not work with dark oak trees. And that's because dark oak trees actually grow with trunks that are two by two. On So unfortunately growing uh, those trees will not work because you, for that you will need a double piston extender, which I do not know how to set up as of right now. If you guys can figure out how to set up one of those, feel free to do that. Um, now, if you guys were a bit confused on how any of this works, you want a bit closer details to how everything works, there will be a world download in the description if you guys decide you want to uh, see this uh, up close. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.